Hey everybody, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found Where Thrifted is the New Black. My name is Lori and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Here on my channel, I take you along for all of my thrifting adventures and all the things that I do with my reselling business. Today, I am super excited to introduce my New England series, Finally, I am finally kicking it off with an incredible trip to Cape Cod. I am going to show you some footage from a day that I spent at the Cape with my good friend Hope. Hope is from Indiana. We met through reselling, through YouTube, and she is a dear friend now. I have footage from I think four or five of the stores that we went into. So I am first going to share with you the day. Um, going down to the Cape, stopping at different places, and then I will have a haul at the end of this video. If you are interested in checking out this series, you might want to consider subscribing. I am going to be releasing them over the next couple of weeks. I actually also bought the rights to a song by Jonathan Richmond called New England, and my brother-in-law Greg and my husband and I performed it together for this series. So if you hear some fun music in the background, that's what it's from. I hope you really enjoy it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're having a good time at any point. It means so much to me. I have so much hometown pride that I am thrilled to bring you the episodes that take place in Massachusetts especially. Because I thrift all over Massachusetts, you've often seen me thrifting in different places, which is why I wanted to go to the iconic Cape Cod to share with you some great spots. In another episode from this series, I will be featuring two shops in particular from Martha's Vineyard. We are going to jump back in time to like the second or third week in April. Uh, we start at a shop in Lakeville. We hadn't even hit Cape Cod yet and we found a tremendous consignment store that we stopped in. Enjoy the footage, stay tuned till the end. I will have some timestamps at the bottom so you can fast forward through things or refer back if you just wanna watch the thrift with me portion or if you wanna skip ahead to the haul, that's great too. I'll have the timestamps down there for your convenience. But let's kick things off with Cape Cod. I hope you enjoy it, everybody. I'll be back at the end for a haul. I've already been to Paris, already been to Rome. <laughs> What did I do but miss my home? Oh, oh, I have. Hey everybody, how we doing? Um, so this is my friend Hope. I'm sure she needs no introduction, but um, Hope is here visiting from Indiana. She is Racks to Riches Resale on YouTube. This is like a little much with my mirror glasses. We are heading down to Cape Cod and we are just going to thrift the day away throughout the Cape, but we had to stop for gas. So we are in a town called Lakeville and there is a shop here called divine consignment yeah. we stopped for gas and we noticed that this place was opening in five minutes so we're gonna go in not sure if we can film have no idea what we're gonna find but it's consignment so we're kind of hoping maybe we'll find a little high end we've done a little bit of everything this week we've been to the bins we've been to like a, an awesome thrift store now we're gonna hit some consignment we're gonna see what are your thoughts on the day hope i'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. So yes, she is our guest for my Massachusetts day. And I think I may end up doing a couple hauls from Massachusetts since this is my home state. Let's hop in and see how it is in there. I don't even know where I'm looking. My eyes are all over the place. Fine. Just opened. Ready, girl? So cute. <laughs> She's skipping. What's on your bolo list? Rothy's. Rothy's. Oh my gosh. I told Hope even if I find them, I'm giving them to her. That's just the I friend just I love, am. She is. That's just the kind of friend she is. And I do the same for her if I found She one. would. She would. All right. Let's see how this is. I'm in. No public restroom. Good thing we. Good thing I do. Yeah. This place is so adorable. Who's running her comps here? Look at all this. This is beautiful. Look, Look at, at these. This. Killer. Killer. This is crazy. 60% off. And they're at like a huge, like a 10 and a half. Yeah, these are just Someone stunning. is out there looking for this big size. I love this soft surround. I do too. So cute. It's vintage. We have a whole pile. Look coach. Three people. Fry, coach. Fry, three people. Let's look at some shorts here. spoke to the shop owner Eileen and she told us the system so this is like a combination of boutique and consignment 
and gift shop. We, of course, are focusing on the thrifted items, on the consignment stuff, but anything that is over 90 days, oh, 60, 60, no, 90 days is 60% off. So we are going to have a blast over here. Except what? Handbags. Except handbags. Those go to 25. 25. Thank you. Look at how adorable the shop is. So we're in Lakeville. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right off the highway. How cute are these little Sam Edelman's? I can't. So look here. Let's see, 7920 in the top corner. So it's been more than 90 days. So these are 60% off. We are going to have fun. Look at these little booties that Hope found. Look how cute those are with the carpet adorable so cute all right we're gonna hit the clearance rack I just decided that all shops should have stools yes. at the checkout. <laughs> Absolutely. Sit down and have some tea with me. Look Very at that excited. little vintage piece. It's so puffy. It's so adorable. Mm -hmm. So this is Eileen. This is her shop. Hello. <laughs> and they have such a nice little program here. So what what is the rewards program? So um, for every $25 we spend, mm -hmm. um, we have on the back of our business card, there are little squares. Punch. So you get a punch for every 25. Once the card is filled, it's worth 10% off your total purchase. The only thing it excludes is high-end designer bags. Okay, well, we're gonna nice. fill a punch card today. Yes, we are. Maybe we can hit it on our way back. <laughs> <laughs> and Hope and I both bought ourselves a present we too. Match, we have matching doonies. A cute bag. It's actually she's getting of the Louis that I've She's covered. getting a, a killer deal. She's yeah. very excited. Tell me about how excited you are. I'm so excited. So the first stop was amazing. Right, Hope? Right. So good. So freaking good. Um, so I knew there was this thrift store. I, I don't know. There are a couple of these St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores on the Cape. That's right. Um, I thought that I had been to this one before with my mom a couple years ago, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but we're obviously going to go in. This was about, would you say, 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah. From the shop in Lakeville. We're just going to keep driving and have a blast. And, and keep stop. stopping. And, you know, this day may include a, a lobster roll. Yeah. Or some fried clams. Lobster. Lobster. That guy's waving to us. No, um, no clams for me. Okay. We'll do lobster. I'm all clammed or up. some haddock. We'll do haddock. I like haddock. It's a light, mild fish. Sure. I don't know what to expect, but we're going to hook you up and let you come along for the ride with us. We're so excited. We're on a, a literal high from that last place. Yes. We could do a car haul and show you what we got, or we could we could show you at home. I'm not sure. We'll see how the day goes. Yeah. We'll play we're it by ear. We're up. Yeah. We only have five hours before all the shops start to close. So we need to do all those, and then we'll talk about car We hauls. were at the other store for almost two hours, and we didn't even plan to go there. That was before we even got to the Cape. We haven't gone over the bridge yet, but we're in Bourne, and we are going to hop in and hopefully find some good stuff. We're ready. Yay. Let's go. Cash only. No way. Yeah. Cash only. Oh, well, we're going to have to find an ATM. Oh yeah, this is the same place. It is? Yeah.
that wasn't the best, was it? No. Um, it was it was really cute inside. I found this vintage dark suede beautiful fringe boho Gorgeous and it was only priced at ten dollars, but it was cash only and it was missing buttons There were a couple flaws with it. I totally totally would have bought it But like we have to drive to a couple drive somewhere to go to an ATM We knew cash was gonna be an issue, right? We should have thought about um, it. so super sweet staff in there and a lot of little knickknacks a cute little kids section Lots yeah. of like glassware vintage. There were some cute Sperry sneak uh, slip-ons I was gonna get little stripes very Cape Cod looking for like four bucks, but it was cash only. I know. So we really had no cute cash. shop if you're in the area. I wouldn't say like super high fashion. Like there, right. we're also coming from a consignment store that had a lot, but the prices were good. They had a dollar rack. Most of the things were four bucks. Some yeah. of the shoes were eight. A little pricey. I always love to support these places. So yeah, absolutely, just bring cash. Exactly. All, All right, right, folks. Signing next stop. off until the next stop. Next stop. Furniture is over here. Oh, so cute. That I love these so like cute. little wooden pieces. I do too. Look at that camera tripod. It's a nice tripod. Where are we looking? Right down there. Oh, that is nice. It's super nice tripod. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. It's like 20 bucks. It's a heavy duty drive It's on. really nice. Look at that brown. Mm. It's really cute. It's in Clark. Isn't that cute? This match your house. Yeah. That little thing that you have. Oh, this is pretty. Two pieces for four bucks. What is this? That's really pretty. Cute. All red checked items for a buck. What's your phone number? 617. It says. The yellow tag? Yeah. Off of men's suits and ladies' blue jeans and boots. But maybe. This adorable little shop was also cash only, so unfortunately we did not buy anything. Our next stop was an ATM machine to make sure this didn't keep happening. And luckily there was a Dunkin' Donuts shop that had an ATM right inside with a beautiful thrift store next door to it. Dunk's break. <laughs> Look at our little tumblers we're getting. Here to those. Are you gonna get the other one? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm gonna get this. Yes, we're each getting one. I'm gonna get this because it's so weird. I love it. Oh my gosh, fun. I'm getting it all this. I used to live in New York City, you know. Who dropped these off? Yeah, young people, a uh, young girl. Did yeah. she drop off anything else? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> her mother brings in stuff, you know, uh -huh. uh, periodically. So you just have to come in. At the right time. She, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm glad we got these. Oh, oh, I'm very happy you're happy. I'm gonna put with this it. down I'll over tell her here. Be very happy. Yes, thank now, you. Let me see. We're paying together. Oh no, we're not. Are you just giving me cash or you just pay? But we can check out separately, right? Okay. Oh, oh no, I have your cash. We'll just I have get twenty. That'll cover this. Yeah. Okay. Are we done? I'm done. You're done. Okay. Oh gosh, I know, we have to go fast. Ah.
This store was super cute, but unfortunately we were pressed for time, shocker. Um, I wish we had had more time in here. It was small, but they had some really nice pieces. I thought that was really cute. It's that amazingly soft, yeah. which is so nice. So cute. Yeah, it's thick. I love all the milk glass too. Oh, look what I just found. <gasps> Let me get it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> that came in last week when I was working. Can you grab this? How'd we do? Look at these cute little vintage bags. I love look those. At these. Look at the little fox. Zoom in. It's a kangaroo. Oh. <laughs> How so cute is that? Cute. Oh, I love I'm it. I'm loving all these little quirky vintage pieces. I know. I'm They're loving it. They're really fun. It's so much fun. Ooh. This place was adorable. I wish we had more time. Look at how cute. Okay, there's so thrift cute. store. Yeah, so cute. They're only up until three. Don't go in at 10 tail, trust me. I know, she was busy. All the daffodils are out. Beautiful church nearby. How cute is this? That's adorable. I always love to get a shirt that I know I could get $25 for instantly. I love it. It days, like it sells in days. Woo! We wanted to do um, a car haul, but Everything is closing really fast. I still don't know where I'm supposed to look. Everything's, everything's closing fast. So we're going to have to haul this all later. But we are having so much fun. That was like the fourth or so fifth much shop. Fun. Uh, yeah, fourth. Yeah, yeah fourth, something like that. Two, and that place yeah, took credit cards, and that was smart because I spent 50 bucks. And so otherwise. That's the first place that's taken. Yeah. Credit yeah. Cards. So, so all right. if you come to the Cape, bring cash. Bring cash. Tip, pro tip. All right. We got one more stop before things start closing down. We're ready. So did you guys do like Poshmark or anything? That's our main platform. Yeah. yeah. And how do you do on Facebook? Lori's making friends here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do it full time, so. Yeah, I probably, I mean. She's a. She's a full time nurse. I'm a nurse. Oh my God, and, I'm a nurse too. Uh, yeah. And she does Poshmark on the side. Going to a cheesy t-shirt shop. That's a cute one. That's cute. We'll look at them all. I think this might be our last stop. Um, we are in Hyannis at the Salvation Army Family Store. I haven't been here since summer, and I was just saying to Hope that in the summer, it was kind of picked over. I was here on Wednesday, which is like family day, and everything was half off. It was a long time ago. It was so. a long time ago, and it was pre-COVID, so... Um, We're going to give it a whirl. We've had good luck so far today. Yeah, we just left a consignment store. That was fantastic. S expensive. Super expensive, but they had a good clearance rack. They had a five dollar clearance rack. They had some stuff on sale, and we each off. and we each bought ourselves something that was not on sale, full price. Yeah, but that we could resell if we wanted to. Exactly, that's always in the back of our mind. Yeah. But let's see what's going on in Salvation Army. Then we're gonna go. We've been to so many stores. We have. I, I did not anticipate that there would be like quite so many places to stop. You it's been awesome. We need to get an earlier start next time. Yeah. Because we went to the Lakeville store, we were there for two hours, so we didn't even get to the Cape till noon. We need to be here like at 9.30 with coffee in hand waiting for the stores to open. Right, because there's so many around here, but everything closes between 3 and 4 o'clock. Yeah, earlier. Because most of them are run by like retired people, volunteer, like churches and things like that. So you just gotta... But like Salvation Army, we're here. They're open till 7 p.m. Yeah. Um, but and... I'm so excited we stopped at Lakeview though because... Oh, that was like probably our best stop of the day. We don't typically shop consignment yeah and no. I think what we realized is that yes there are plenty of things that we could definitely not flip for money but we bought ourselves like we got the Dooney bags each of us and they were both on sale so those that was great yeah. and, and we could still flip those you realize that 
they do all the work for you because they everything go is, through everything. Everything is nicely. Things are pressed. pressed. You, yeah. I don't have to steam no anything. Stains. No stains. Like you just don't worry about it. They and don't junk. they all have sale racks. We did very well. Like at the last store. I mean, it's not like the greatest stuff, but like, so for example, like I got a Betsy Johnson skirt, new with tag. Five bucks. Five dollars. Um, I got a St. John collection, red and black blazer. Gorgeous. I paid 25, but. It's, it's a special beautiful. piece. I think it's special. Get it, cause, uh, can we show it? It has like the suede collar. That's and then suede. Oh, gosh. Gold. I didn't realize this was suede. It's the Santana knit, and then it has the suede all over it. The suede accents, and then the beautiful buttons. And then the buttons are just... They say St. John. So, yes, it was $25. Do we typically spend that much to flip Never. stuff? No. But that is beautiful. But I loved it. Yeah. So let's see if we can find more St. John for, say, five bucks at yeah. Salvation Army. I'd be into it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. The last time I came here, I just ate out. So maybe it was We were so freaking pissed. <laughs> okay. It has only <laughs> been, it. it's been 20 minutes, if that. Not even. All that time we spend here talking. <laughs> Cha-ching! Website said 7 p.m. We walk in the door and they're like, we're closing in 20 minutes. So I wasn't really too stressed out because the last time I was at this store, it was junk. I struggled. I really struggled. Okay. But I'm a good luck charm. 20 minutes. Let's just go rapid fire back and forth. What'd you get? 20 minutes. You go first because I'm my brain dead. Hold on. I got a really nice navy blue Dooney and Burke. It looks like a little vintage. Excellent quality. Like nylon with the brown leather trim, $12.99. Madewell shoes, Patagonia shoes, Allegria shoes. Um, I got Sam Edelman shoes. Yeah, chocolate blue, which I've sold twice before. It's a brand that I kind of discovered by accident, and I've sold their shoes like 40 and 50 around that ballpark for the ballet. I got like sandals. I got a Vans backpack for my kid. It's leopard print and it's Vans. But I got two full bags of just shoes. I can't even think of the other brands right now, but. Um, I got some Levi's high rise skinnies for like the five ones bucks. you gave me. Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers. I've never found those before. Um, what else? What else? I had so many shoes. Um, oh, I got bogs, little girl bogs oh, in really so nice condition for five bucks. You guys, we were there for 20 minutes and like they were on us from the second we walked in. Five more minutes. <laughs> I'm telling you though, if we would have had the two hours like we thought, we would have cleaned house in there. We would have spent hundreds of dollars. I just like, I, you know, like when it was going to be good when you walk into a store and you just know we were so focused because we weren't together. We knew we had to work. We weren't socializing. Hope was in one section. I was in another. And like we put down like really pretty coach leather heels. We did. Lulu's heels. Yeah, those were cute. I will say post COVID, you just can't rely on any websites for anything. And yeah. I think that's been the biggest struggle with like mom and pop thrift stores. Although this is Salvation Army and it's on a main strip in Hyannis. I think that's where we are. And they're freaking busy. And they're hopping. Yeah, it is what it is. But like update the website. So I'm just saying it is April 2021 and it says they're open till seven. And we were so excited because we're like, we can just take our time. Yeah, like now I wish we wouldn't have spent so long at the other one that was so expensive because we literally came here and found all this expensive or all these nice shoes. I have the impression that they got dumped like a a bunch of shoes because those shoes were all brand new. They all the shoes are new. But to be honest, we really didn't have time to look through the clothing racks because you know it just takes more time. So shoes and I, yeah, bags. Yeah, we just headed straight to the back. Both you of can us. just assess much faster than going through racks. Racks was going to take some time. Great stuff. Don't come here at five o'clock. Gosh, I'm so sad. We still had a tremendous day. But I think we're done. It's just been so much fun to be here with this beautiful day it's, we and go to the all these day. different shops. We really needed way more time on the Cape. It's, way there's more time. never enough time. There's never enough. Not, Not with you. Not, Not when we're you. together. <laughs> all right. I am like blotchy red and I have to pee so bad. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kegling right now to keep it together. We're going to the beach and we're going to get some dinner. And if we shop anymore, you'll be with us. Say bye. Bye. So as you could see, that first stop uh, in Lakeville, we were there for two hours. So it set us a little bit behind schedule, but it was well worth it. I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I got from that spot. So just as a refresher, anything in that store that's been there for more than 90 days is 60% off. Handbags that have been there for more than 90 days are 25% off. This is a beautiful top from Cloth & Stone. My average cost of goods at this store was $10.71, which is a 
about double of what my normal cost of goods is. And that is what I would expect for a consignment store. This is a size medium. There's the tag for cloth and stone. There's the tag. I don't always pick up cloth and stone, but I think this was about $4 in the store. There were a few things that I paid up quite a bit for and then other things that weren't so much. This is just a J. Crew cotton top with some front pleating here that I thought was really nice. This is a size eight. It's 100% cotton. This is an older J. Crew tag. I love dark florals. This is a nice summer print. I definitely had summer on my mind when I was shopping. I was trying not to pick up too many heavy things and I have been passing on a lot of winter items right now. I would never pass up on something that was really special, but I definitely had summer on my mind during this trip. I got these Timberlands for my son Rocco. Well, at the time I wasn't really sure. They are brand new, never worn. Um, I wanna say I paid like $19 for these. They are a lower cut Timberland and they are a size 10, 10 and a half, and they run a little bit big. They are a 10 and a half, and Rocco's typically an 11 in sneakers, but I brought these home thinking if Rocco doesn't want them, I will definitely sell them, but he loved them and they fit like a glove. So these are going to Rocco, but awesome. I brought up just one of these shoes and I did feature these in my shoe haul that I did with Hope when she was here, uh, but these are just fantastic. These are free people shoes. They have all these sparkles. These were 60% off. They are new without tag. This is probably gonna take a special buyer, but I just thought that these were so special. I mean, look at the sparkle on these. This great platform, really fun. These are a size 38 for anybody who's curious, which is about a size eight. I also got these Salvatore Ferragamos. Typically I find these in an older style, but I thought these were really cute. They're just a suede lavender flat. I think they're great for spring. They were in beautiful condition and the comps on these were pretty good, somewhere between 40 and $60. So I went ahead and grabbed these because they are designer. So I was kind of excited. These are a size 7B and these were relatively inexpensive. So for some of the stores, I itemized what they cost, but at this particular store, I just have my average cost of goods. Um, but when I know exactly what I paid for something, I will share that with you. This I got mostly on style because I just loved it. I love caftans. If you know me, <laughs> you know I love them. And I thought this was so pretty. The brand is just called Flying Tomato, which is a boutique brand. There is the label, but look at the back of this. And I also loved the color for 4th of July. I think this is just gorgeous. I am pretty much a complete sucker for a caftan, and I loved that, even though it wasn't a big fancy brand. The last thing I got was this great vintage jacket. Um, it was a puffer coat. And so this was off season, but I really loved it because it was vintage. The brand is Mountain Goat by S White Stag. It's a vintage puffer in navy blue. I'm gonna pop a picture up here for you because it's downstairs and I just wanna film this. So it was a great puffer jacket. I'm probably going to list it now between 50 and $60 and it was in mint condition. So I was really excited about that. I love a nice vintage piece as well. That's all I got at this particular store. If you wanna check out any of Hope's videos, I will leave a link to Hope's channel in my description. So definitely check out her Cape Cod thrifting day as well. After that, we hopped in the car and we stopped at the St. Vincent de Paul and I didn't find anything in there. Well, I did find a leather fringe vest. If you remember, they only accepted cash, which was an issue for a few of these shops. We ended up stopping and getting cash out of an ATM machine at Dunkin' Donuts at one point, but that was definitely an issue. So if you do plan on going thrifting on the Cape, I would really encourage you to bring cash. So the next stop that I went to that I actually did buy some stuff at was called Lady of Cape Thrift. This was the thrift store that was right next door to the Dunkin' Donuts. So I did find a few things at Sea Captain's Thrift Shop, which was in Brewster. That was a really cute shop. And that was the place that Hope had Googled the night before and it had great reviews. That shop too also was cash only. So we had to leave to go get cash and we ended up going to Dunkin' Donuts to get cash and there was this other thrift store next to it called Lady of Cape Thrift. I spent $34 in there and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. This store was really fun. This was the place where the, we got the Givenchy perfume that was at the register. We heard, we overheard the women talking about Givenchy and we looked at each other, Hope and I were 
going through racks across from one another. And we said, we need to go check this out. And it was two brand new bottles of perfume. So I got one and Hope got the other one. They retail for $110, $120 each. And we, each, and we both decided to keep the perfume. Also at that store, I picked up these really cute J. Crew shorts and this iCat. These were $4 shorts and I thought they were adorable. This is the label, so it's not the, the newest J. Crew label, but it's still a more current one, and these are a size two. Also at that store for $5, I decided to get these beautiful um, size small Victoria's Secret pajamas. I don't know if these were a gold label. No, these actually have the more contemporary label, and they aren't silk, they are polyester, but they were in beautiful condition, and I do like to carry loungewear, um, intimates, pajamas. Yeah, these still have the price tag on. So these were just $5. Another brand that I don't always pick up, but I liked the design of this. This was a vintage Orvis vest with these ruffles, which I feel could really be um, paired with something to give like a cottage core vibe with the ruffles. Very 80s inspired, I think. And you could wear it on its own. You could wear it layered with something. I thought it was really cute in a vintage vibe, definitely vintage. And this Orvis sleeveless top also cost $5. I also picked up these BDG shorts, which were just $3. Again, just like a fun, easy flip um, and definitely summer worthy. They are raw hem. And BDG is Urban Outfitters house brand. They are the high rise cheeky and they are in a size 27. Hope handed this to me and I love it. It's a Zara basic, it's a size medium. There's the Zara tag, but it is a jumpsuit in this deep, deep V. Another thing I'd love to try on. I mean, I'm typically a large, but this might run big enough for me to wear. Just this really comfy black jumpsuit with this sexy deep V. Again, you could wear a tank with it. I think the model is going, she has nothing on underneath it, so it makes it look really sexy. It has a side zip over here. I thought this was so cool. So I'm excited to get that listed. I mean, picture this jumpsuit with these free people platforms, or you could go casual and wear like a little ribbed tank top underneath and some flip flops and it would be adorable. You could go out to dinner with it with like a fun little clutch. Hey everyone, unfortunately I lost five minutes of my footage that I was recording here. So we are jumping ahead to the thrift store um, that we were only able to stay in for 10 minutes, the Brewster Thrift Shop, but here are a couple things I got. Also at this location, I found these amazing Diane Von Furstenberg platform heels with this incredible zipper detail. So <laughs> the zipper up here, I was trying to like zip it all the way up. The zipper around the ankle here is just for show, but look at these leather shoes, these leather booties. They are like brand new. Look at the bottom. They are a size 10. One of the items that I picked up at this shop already sold. I picked up a purple The Mountain t-shirt. I got a $20 offer on it and I think that went to a viewer. So thank you so much if you purchased that t-shirt. One last thing from this store and I was, I went back and forth with this. The reason I ended up picking it up was because it was only $6. I got this Pendleton sweater. This has like an interesting weave to the knit, just like a nice, basic, happy cardigan. Maybe I'll get $30 for that. I'd be happy with that with a $6 purchase. And again, when I go into these shops, I always want to give them my business. So there were only a few things that I found in here. We literally walked in and they were closing in 10 minutes and we whipped through that place. I will say that when I'm on a time limit, and somebody gives me like, you have 10 minutes to shop, 20 minutes to shop. Like I'm always like game on, let's do this. And I have laser focus and I still do okay. I find some stuff. I can kill hours in a thrift store. So sometimes a deadline is good for me. So this next consignment store we went to was absolutely beautiful. It was called Consigning Women and this was in Harwich, Mass. This was a really large store. They also carried some home goods and they had really high end stuff. This was probably the most expensive shop that we went to. Hope and I both bought a couple things for ourselves. I ended up finding some really great deals and I think that's something that we learned um, through shopping at these two consignment stores on this trip is that while the prices are generally much higher, they sift through everything first. So you're finding better quality stuff, things that don't have flaws. And in both cases, they had some really great deals. So even though their average price 
wouldn't be the best for flipping, for reselling, a lot of the stuff is on sale. 60% off in Lakeville and at this shop, we found a rack that had $5 items. When you average the cost together, it becomes a lot more manageable. And it's kind of fun to pick some stuff up for yourself too when you're splurging. This is what I bought for myself. I just kept going back to this. It was not a brand I had ever heard of. It screamed of summer, made me think of Cape Cod. Sometimes for me, it's hard to find black things that are very summery. And because I wear so much black, I just wanted to find something. And I think this would look so cute with the Nanette Laplore dress that I picked up at the other shop. I loved this. Um, and it has, it has a drawstring in the center. The brand is Seabreeze by Sabina. So this could very likely, I'm gonna have to do some research on this, but this could even be a designer right from the Cape. This is like brand new. I paid $32 for this and I think it was so worth it. Leather handle, absolutely adorable. Moving on to the things that I bought to sell, I got this Susan Bristol linen tunic in a 3X and I'm obsessed with it. Look at how beautiful this is. I love this. It has this lime green trim embroidery and split cuffs right here. And this did have the store price tag on it, which was $24, but this was on the $5 rack. I would have never picked this up for $24 um, to flip. I think it's not a bad price for a new item. Linen is fantastic in a size 3X. I was thrilled about this. I will probably list this around $40 since it's linen, and I think that will be a really great return. Also on the $5 rack was this J. Crew silk sleeveless top. Absolutely beautiful floral pattern. I loved it. It is a size double zero. There's the label right there. Um, and this was priced at $20, but it was on the $5 rack. Also on that $5 rack was this Zara knit skirt. And the reason I picked this up was because it was new with tag. Um, definitely out of season, but a cute little mini skirt. You can see there are little metallic flecks in here. And they had this priced at $25. So just the $5 rack was just so great for me. That's where I picked up most of my stuff to resell at this location. And the women were so nice. It was a great shopping experience. They had some really high-end stuff. They had the store categorized into sections. Like there was kind of like an entire preppy section with, you know, Vineyard Vines, Lily Pulitzer, um, Jay McLaughlin in one area. They had a whole shoe section. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous store. This was another thing on the $5 rack. This was priced at $30 and it's Betsy Johnson. So it was a new with tag Betsy Johnson skirt. Um, for $5. If I'm not mistaken, all of my Betsy Johnson stuff has sold. It eventually always sells there. She definitely has some fans out there. And yeah, new with tag. I'm not sure what this retails for, but they had it priced at 30. So definitely worth $5. Got this cover up for me as well. Um, I always say that I shop for cover up season, not bathing suit season. It's just from Target. I'm not sure if it's going to fit me, but it has these little tangerines on it and these little pom pom. Also, how adorable is this? If I am at poolside, if we go away over my black bathing suit and then this little straw bag and this tangerine. This is from Target, also new with tag, $14. Also on the $5 rack, I believe. Oh man, it's a small. This is not gonna fit me. This is not gonna fit me. But anyways, it may end up in my closet. I thought this was so adorable for summer. Loved it so much. So in total, I spent $59 at that store, but 32 was on the bag and the tangerine top. So other than that, everything I picked up in there was just $5. So great, great time. Definitely check them out. Most of these spots also had a mailing list that you can sign up for. All right, final stop. Salvation Army. You saw that Hope and I were chit-chatting in the car, having no idea that they were closing so soon. And we walked through the door and once again, in our face, we're closing in 10 minutes. So we were under the gun this entire day and it all started because we spent two hours in Lakeville, but what are you gonna do? It's on uh, the main strip in Hyannis. I've been to the Salvation Army several times before, but this particular trip was the best 10 minutes I've ever had at this particular location. This doesn't have any tags on it. Look at how beautiful this is. Um, this is the pattern on it. Look at this gorgeous print. So the thing about this is though, that is more like um, a graphic. 
it's part of the fabric. It's not embroidered. So I don't know if that will bring down the value, but it's still really gorgeous. So I'll list that around $40, $45, and we'll see how it does. This brand, Chalet, it looks like. Well, the retail on this brand was really expensive. They're cropped and they have this really interesting um, stitching. So if you, if you look at the bottom, see how the pleating is done? It's really interesting. I would put these in like a lag and look category. They also have these built-in pockets. They just look so comfortable. Super cozy pants. They're very soft cotton, designed in the USA. These are a size small. I believe that they had just been given a bunch of shoes because Hope and I beelined for the shoes. Because we knew we had limited time, we just felt like it's more efficient for us to look through shoes because we can plow through them really quickly. And I always believe that you can get some sort of an indication of what you're gonna find at the store based on the shoe section. The shoes are good, usually the clothes, is, the clothes are good as well. I picked these up for me, they're a size eight and a half. They're Pumas, Pumas, is that what they are? Yes, there's my little Puma guy right here. I love hot pink and um, because I wear so much black, I like to have a pop of color with my sneakers. I picked up these kids' bogs and these are in great condition. I often find bogs at the Goodwill outlet in New Hampshire, but they're usually pretty well worn and these are just in excellent condition with the stripes and the teal turquoise pattern. Um, these were $4.99 and there was no discount on the pink color. These are a youth size three, if anybody is interested. Um, the bottom, I need to just wash up a little bit, but these are in excellent shape. Another thing that I picked up at Salvation Army that has also already sold were a pair of chocolate, chocolate blue slides. It's the third time I've picked up this brand. I was hoping to get a little bit more for these. I had sold the ballet flats in that 40 to $50 range twice on two occasions, um, well one sold in a bundle so I don't remember what the actual bottom line was on it, but it's a brand that I love to pick up and the leather is super, super soft. These were a wedge sandal and they were just beautiful, black, classic, and they sold relatively quickly. I did accept a $30 offer on these. I had them priced at 50. I didn't get much clothes at Salvation Army because of the quick turnaround. I didn't have time to look, but you know I love to pick up Levi's. These are the high rise skinny um, and they are in really good condition. They feel pretty broken in 31s. That's my size. Um, I might try these, but these are the 721 high rise skinny and they are, well, they're just like super soft. They have a lot of stretch. I love the medium wash on these. I will still pick up um, skinny jeans by the right brand and, you know, in the right condition. And Levi's and Madewell are two brands that I will still pick up. This Dooney I grabbed really quickly. And then when I got out to the car, I realized, or when I was reviewing, there is a little bit of puckering right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but right here, if I, oh, there, you can see it now. If I come in close, you can see where there's some puckering. But this Dooney bag, again, I grabbed all this stuff and I'm not kidding, 10 minutes. They wanted us out of there. I spent $51.74 at Salvation Army and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. So really not bad. So this is a really nice style bag and the leather is in great condition. The interior is also in beautiful condition. It really looks like, with the exception of this puckering, this would be a like new bag. Like if you look at the bottom, uh, oftentimes with these nylon bags, you see it a lot in Longchamp bags where the corners start to really wear. And these corners are in really good condition from what I can see. So I still think I'll do decent on this. Maybe I'll list it between like around $50. Um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I may have to price it a little bit lower. I'm going to check out this style bag. It's a beautiful shoulder bag. The shoulder strap is gorgeous. I love navy for summertime. These just reminded me of the cape and I, I'm pretty fussy with my Sperry's. These have a $5.99 mark on them. I thought they were really cute with the braided detail and the wedge heel and the little stripe detail here on the side. These, all of these shoes were like new condition, which is why I feel like they must have all been dropped off. And we couldn't believe how great the stuff was that we found. And we can only imagine how amazing it would have been if we got there earlier in the day. These are a size eight medium. That wraps up all of the things that I found when I explored Cape Cod. We did Hyannis, we found some stuff in Harwich. 
in Brewster. And we also stopped in Lakeville in the store where I didn't pick up anything that was in Bourne. So I would love to go back to the Cape and explore a little more. All of the places that I mentioned in today's video will be mentioned in my description. Let me know if you're familiar with any of these spots and I would love to hear from you in the comments if you know of good shops on the Cape. If you wanted to share those in the comments, that would be really helpful. I'm hoping that my New England series will be a reference for people who are coming into the area and want to know good spots to thrift. I know that when I'm traveling Traveling, I love to know where the good spots are. The two states that I'm looking, still looking for some tips on are Vermont in particular and Connecticut. Um, I'm going to be headed out to those places soon. I have a good idea where I'm going in Maine and New Hampshire and Rhode Island, but I would love some tips if anybody has suggestions for spots in Connecticut and in Vermont. I'll be shopping there really soon. Once again, thank you so much for joining me and the kickoff episode of my Thrift Across New England series. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of my Thrift Across New England series, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when I release my videos. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will be back real soon. Take care. Bye. I have Dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de-dum-de